though I do not know why, you were always difficult to read, when you were tied to the Force, and even more when it was lost to you. But I can sense the death of others upon your hands. I know how this will end. But I will answer your questions, if only for some measure of peace. In exchange, I wish only the answer to one. Why have you done this to the Jedi? Was it revenge or something more? Whatever this threat is, it leaves echoes in the Force, wounds that do not heal. It is something we had never felt before, until you stood before us in judgment, and we exiled you. Yes, whatever was killing the Jedi, it was something tied to you, something you had experienced and had survived. Some of us sought to understand you, to find you. It seems we succeeded, even though we thought you were lost to us. Now, as we hoped, you have returned, and you know nothing that could help us. Such irony. What I can tell you, I will. We told you it was because you followed Revan to war, but you ask because you are not certain of that answer, nor were we. The day we cast you out, that is the moment I decided to leave the Order, because I do not believe we truly faced the reasons you were exiled, and if we do not examine such truths, then we are already lost. I think it was because we were afraid. It is a difficult thing to live one's life with the Force. To see a vision of what it would be like to be severed from it, it is more frightening than you know. Now, now I must take up the role I was ready to cast aside. This threat has finally revealed itself, and we Jedi will need to stand together. I did not speak fully of what I have felt. Staying on Nar Shaddaa, it is an exile of sorts, one that I have chosen. I, too, lost a Padawan on Malachor, not to the battle, but to the alternative, to the teachings that Revan brought from the unknown regions. And I was not the only Jedi Master to watch a student turn on them. No, no, they were not to blame, but many of the Order did so. It was a difficult time, a time of strong emotion. Perhaps the Council, perhaps the Order itself, had grown arrogant in their teachings. It is easy to cast blame, but it is perhaps time the Order accepted responsibility for their teachings and their arrogance and come to recognize that perhaps we are flawed. Not once did I hear one of the Council claim responsibility for Revan, for Exar Kun, for Ulik, for Malak, or for you. Yet, you were the only one who came back from the wars to face our judgment. And rather than attempting to understand why you did what you did, we punished you instead. Our one chance to see where we had gone wrong, and we cast it aside. And now, that decision has come back to us and may carry with it our destruction. Perhaps there is something wrong in us, in our teachings, and though I tried, I could not cause that thought to leave me, so I left the Council. And I was not the only one. That is why many scattered, and why many in the Republic do not trust us, and why we do not trust ourselves. Make no mistake, I am no Jedi. This is the end, you see. After this, there will be nothing, and I think it will be for the best. Do you wish to do battle now? I have nothing more to say.
This form will be useful when you face multiple opponents or ranged attack. Sheen also allows you to make more devastating critical attacks. If you think to learn anything from my death, then you are wrong. If battle is the only thing you yet learn from me, then that is the only victory this day. What are you waiting for? Still new to you, let us see if you have the years to bag it up. Psst. 